Welcome to Helicon Brewing. Should I uh, top up my beer or? I was a computer programmer for about uh, 15 years. I wanted to uh, get out of corporate America and start a small business. And I had been a home brewer for about 15 years at that point. So I said, uh, maybe I'll build a brewery. It was a very popular thing to do in uh, the 2010s. So I basically make the beer I like to drink. You know, as a home brewer, I focused on German lagers and American ales. At least half of our beer sales are our American IPA. So uh, that could be considered a flagship beer. There's also a, a German lager uh, style called Helles. It's a nice, easy drinking lager beer. Uh, that people really seem to enjoy. So the name Helicon Brewing comes from the original name of the land. The Borough of Oakdale incorporated in 1882, but in 1792, the very first time the Commonwealth of PA gave a land grant, the name on the deed was Mount Helicon. Helicon Brewing is known for Mount Helicon that's behind us. There's a, the Panhandle Trail right here. We get a ton of bike riders coming off the trail to, to have a drink and check out a food truck that we got on the weekends. You're like right outside of nature here. You look at what I'm looking at right now, it's majestic. Pelican Brewing will be open for six years this November. Uh, we've had the pinballs for about four and a half of those years. I am a brewer and not a pinball operator. My pinball operator is Chris Myers uh, from Starport, and he's the guy that makes this all happen. When Chris approached me about pinballs, um, I was very excited because that is quite different uh, than a television bar. We started with four pinballs and two arcade games, but very quickly we went to six pinballs, and six became nine, nine became 15, and now I believe we're up to 73. A mutual friend of mine had put me in touch with Chris Brunetti, who owns the brewery. They launched Iron Maiden around that time. We had a launch party and so many people showed up to play the game. We were the first people to have it in Pittsburgh and he's seen kind of the cohesion between his regular customers that love the games and new people coming in. So it was really a great match. To all of a sudden be able to have pinballs here and play them was quite fantastic. So I never played them in my childhood or my youth, but now that I have a business and a few extra dollars in my pocket, uh, I've enjoyed it quite immensely over the last four years. Where the games are placed, it kind of like gives you an opportunity to see what's going on while you're playing. I'm like watching the brewer do his thing and then whenever the game's over, I'll go over and ask a question. It's a really nice mesh that you don't see other places. We operate games in 41 breweries and this is the only one that is set up just like this. The open design was important uh, to have a good experience of coming to a brewery and being able to see the tanks. I spend a lot of time here just showing people around. So Chris buys uh, all the games. Uh, he also has quite an extensive collection that uh, he's had for many, many years, if not decades. You know, I don't even know uh, how many games we've had uh, cycle through here, but it's in the hundreds. So I've been told that I may be the largest pinball collector in the world. I don't know that. It doesn't really mean much to me. I just like to keep it rolling, but Rush crested us over 1,600 pinball machines within our grasp. So it's a huge collection, but it's just been gained and we've added to it over 21 years. He handles all the maintenance. It works out well for me. I don't have to do much except sell some beer and enjoy the games. I play Iron Man pinball the most uh, and second most is the uh, Stern Star Wars. So Chris is free to rotate any games out he wants, just please not those two. In a site like this, we're lucky to have someone like Chris Brunetti who, who owns the brewery but is an enthusiast. I would say the majority of our players are regular customers that just are here to drink beer or to eat at the food truck and the pinballs are here so they give it a shot. But Pittsburgh I think is pretty famous uh, for having a lot of the top players in the world. Helicon Brewing is a Stern Army location. Uh, so we have monthly strike tournaments or knockout tournaments on the third Sunday of every month. Uh, we also host a launch party for each new Stern pinball that comes out. Uh, so it's kind of cool to get the games first. 
it's really great too that like you see all ages walk in here. You see dads teaching their daughters how to play pinball and, and then you see the, the hardcore player, the tournament player practicing for a tournament on the newest games that we have here. So I mean I think it's just incredible. So I think most people perceive Helicon as a fun, relaxing, but professional and quality space. So we want to have good beers, we want to have knowledgeable staff, and we want to, we want to do everything well, including pinball. <laughs>